as you might expect, the mission tool is pretty straightforward. You've just got two little inputs, and uh, it'll just tell you what the distance is between those two shapes. Path length is pretty handy. You input any kind of shape, and it will tell you what the, the length of it is. So in this instance, we've used the path length to distribute these petals around a flower. So if the flower changes size, or the petals change size, it's all gonna work out quite nicely. Ray length tells us the distance between a point and the surface of a shape. The distance node is slightly different to the measure node. Basically you have one input and then you can output that to whatever shape you want. Who's going to start off with the measure tool? This basically allows you to insert two shapes and it outputs the distance between the two. So we can output this to our string by clicking on the string generator. We'll bring the precision down, the padding down, and then just make a connection from measure into our number. And then when we move this around, you can see our number is updated. We're just gonna start off by creating our path length. We grab our purple flower, pop it in here, and you can see that it's given us the length of 590. Okay, so if we click on orange and throw that into a duplicator, and we'll change this to path, and we'll change the input, add the input path, it was the purple one. And basically we can add and subtract from here. So since we have the length of the path, since we have the, the length of the radius, we can just use a little bit of maths and figure out how many we'll need to go around the circumference of our shape. Put path length into the top one, bring in our orange shape and put that into the second one. And then we're just gonna hit divide and we've got 19. So then we can output this math node into our duplicator, into the count. So in our math node, I'm just going to come in here, add expression, times 2. And when we increase our thing, and it's all working just how we wanted it to work. So what you can do is you can just uh, increase and subtract here as well, if that's what you wanted to do. And you've also got your offset. So that path length node is pretty handy and we're going to be using that next in our ray node as well. So for the ray node, it's going to need a position and what we're going to use here is the position of our shape to drive the position of it. Okay, so when we move this around, the ray moves too. I'm going to turn off bidirectional, just because I don't need it all. And then for our rotation, I'm just going to click on a look at. And then in look at, we're just going to add our orange shape. Something happens, so we're just going to change the offset to 90. And still nothing too exciting. So what we've got down here is collision shapes. So we can just drop our orange shape into that. And now we have what we're after. And if we increase this to 100, you'll see that you'll see that the ray is moving around as exactly as it should. So to further illustrate this, we're going to create another little shape. And we will shrink that down a little bit. And on our position, we're going to do a pathfinder. And in the pathfinder, we're going to put the ray. And then we can just travel it back and forth. And also, if you need to, you've got the path length. 
that array in there. And it comes up with the, the ray length here as well that you might need. So now we're just going to use the distance tool. So create your distance tool. And we're going to use our orange shape as the one that's going to be moving around. So actually, let's just also put a noise on here straight away. And I'm just going to drop that down to negative 500, 500. And separate channels. And now our circle will be moving around. Okay, so in our distance tool, we're going to do the target shape is orange. And we're going to use this distance to drive our radius. So now as you can see, the orange shape is moving around and our purple shape or blue shape is, man, I've got colorblind, um, is keeping up with that. So you can see there's a bit of an issue here because um, there's a bit of a difference, a bit of an offset. So what we've got to do is minus the radius of this orange circle onto the purple one. So we'll just bring up another math node as well. So we're going to go with our distance into the top one. And then we'll go subtract. And then we'll bring in our orange and we'll go subtract that. Okay. And now we go back into our purple shape and we're going to remove this input from the distance and we're going to put in our math shape. So now as that moves around, it's getting the, the right input for us. So if we wanted to put this into a duplicator, we're going to put everything inside a group first and then we're going to run run with it that way. So if we just move this around, you can see how it's uh, the same setup. And on my purple one, I'm just going to group it. And I'm also just going to pop a position here on shapes so that when I put this into a duplicator I can take it off grid put it onto point and then if I move this around you can see how everything is scaling with it okay so let's just add a few more and actually in here I'm just gonna drop make this huge 800 and 100 800 that way they're all going to be all the way around it okay so that you can see how that works hopefully <laughs> so now if we jump into our orange uh pink shape which is called orange which is not freaking confusing at all um we can just right click on the position and add a noise and you can see here it's not working so what you're going to do, right click on this, come down to context, filter indexed, and filter position. Now it's going to be working for you.